An IEP is an individualized education plan, and it's given to children with special needs or children that may have like behavioral issues or other problems that need to be, that may interfere with their learning and their ability to like be in the classroom. And it's basically just an itemized list talking about, say a child has autism, it'll talk about say this child has autism, he's seven years old, he's in second grade, um, his expressive language, so the way he talks and the way he understands things is not on par. So it talks about like basically adjustments that can be made so that he can, they can learn if not at the same level as their peers, then close to their level. And it also lists like accommodations that need to be made, such as something about like I was saying, like if your child has wandering, that's something you'd want listed on their file. And it basically, to my knowledge, every six months, there's like a review, there's an IEP team. So it includes the teacher, like if they have a speech therapist, the occupational therapist, um, and then the person in charge of like the IEP. So there's usually IEP meetings and that's why parents are encouraged to attend these meetings, just to know what the school is doing for your special needs child. So that's pretty much what an IEP is. And it's reviewed, yeah, pretty much every six months, just to make sure that the goals are being met, the child's accommodations are being met. And if anything needs to be changed and added and modified. So it's basically like your best shot to give your child with special needs, like, the best education that they can get and to make sure that they're getting all the accommodations you have because once it's written down you know that's it like they have to follow it and if they're not following you can refer to it and say hey you're not doing this it's listed on the ip you're not supposed to be doing that you know so that's why it's super important to go to these meetings and to get involved um, many people are, well i don't want to say many but a lot of people are just passive in the process and they might leave it up to the school and then they don't really know what's happening with their child so go to the ip meetings because you're entitled to do so and ask any questions you have because again you're entitled and this is your child's education